What's up everyone, welcome to Hi-Fi Turtle where we talk about everything audio. Today we're talking about a kind of a weird product, a product that is causing a lot of controversy online. This week, legendary amplifier electronics manufacturer Macintosh Laboratories announced their LB200. What is the LB200? Well, the LB stands for light box. And you might be thinking, that sounds really weird. What is a light box? Well, it is what it says it is. It is a light box. It is a component that has a screen, not really a screen, just a display on the front, just like a panel, I guess. And all it says is Macintosh, handcrafted in America since 1949. That is essentially all this product does. It is just a glowing Macintosh light for your setup. This got lots of audio files online, very heated because this product is not cheap. It is not a novelty Macintosh product that just costs like a hundred bucks or 50 bucks, something like that. It is a $1,500 product. And once again, all it really does is light up. And lots of people were dogging on Macintosh themselves saying that this is a blemish on the Macintosh brand, that it is embarrassing for Macintosh to release such a product to the public and that they would never order Macintosh products or they were ashamed that they were a Macintosh owner because of this particular product. And a lot of people were also theorizing that due to Macintosh's recent sale to a Texas-based private equity firm that this is the future of Macintosh. Let me give you my thoughts on the LB200. And first and foremost, I don't think this product is, is embarrassing or horrible or anything that everyone is freaking out on the internet about when it comes to this LB200 product. So first and foremost, I think we have to go back to 2018. The LB200 is not the first of its kind when it comes to this sort of Macintosh product. There was a predecessor, an LB100, that sold also for $1,500. That has been a Macintosh product for the last four years. The LB200 is an evolution of that product. Now, an evolution, that doesn't add very much, really all this product is doing is adding the ability of storage. There is a removable panel on the back of the LB200 that can be taken off and you can store really whatever you'd like in there. Now Macintosh recommends that you store unsightly components, which I guess is kind of a dog whistle for non-Macintosh components or components that aren't as good looking as Macintosh. So there's that ability. I don't know how big this thing is exactly and what you could really store in it. You could really store whatever you want in it. But the LB100 was about the same size but did not have this component storage ability. And I really don't think there was anything more than what is currently contained in the LB200 for that huge box. So. The LB100 in that sense was wasting a lot of space and Macintosh probably said, what can we do with this space to make it a little better for our users? Well, we can just make it a storable area. So this product is really not the first of its kind and everyone who's freaking out saying the Macintosh brand is ruined, that their image is ruined, that their brand is ruined. If that's true, they have to rewind the clocks and relinquish any Macintosh products they bought between 2018 and now because Macintosh was still doing this four years ago. Second, the idea that this is a byproduct of the recent Macintosh sale to the Texas-based private equity firm is ridiculous. I'm sure that the Texas-based private equity firm has much bigger things on their list as part of the merger and acquisition of the Macintosh group than releasing a $1,500 light box. That is not part of their grand scheme of unlocking the value in the Macintosh brand. This is something that probably was planned for many months prior to its release and just so happened to be released when this merger and acquisition closed and was announced. And the general outrage of this product is honestly just ridiculous. Like it doesn't make sense to me. It's a $1,500 light box. If you say, hmm, I would not spend $1,500 on a light box. That is not a good value to me. I would not buy that product. No one is forcing you to buy that product. You don't have to get mad at Macintosh for selling this product. The reason why Macintosh is selling this product is because there is a demand for it. There are customers of theirs that are probably asking for this exact device. And people who probably bought the LB100 were saying, it would be great if I could use the 
supposedly unused space inside of this unit to do something else with it, like storage, do hideaway cables, whatever that may be. Macintosh is not putting out this product just rubbing their hands together, collecting money and saying, oh, look how stupid they are to buy this thing. They are putting it out because people are demanding this product. And they're saying, if you want this product, you have to pay for it. It doesn't make sense for Macintosh to make this product, to dedicate the resources in their factory and production lines to make this product, unless it costs a certain amount. And $1,500 is the amount that they are putting up. There is no reason to get so angry. If you don't want this product, don't buy it. It's as simple as that. Macintosh is not forcing you to buy an LB200 before you can get your MC275. It's ridiculous. If you don't want it, don't buy it. Buy the other Macintosh components that you see value in or buy something else. You don't have to get angry at Macintosh for releasing a product that is in demand. And in fact, I know it's in demand because if I go to their website, the thing is sold out. It's sold out. You can't even buy it. They already sold out of them. So if you didn't like it, if you didn't buy one, it's too late anyway. You're not the direct the customer they're pandering to. They're not, you're not the customer they want you to buy it. The customers that are going to buy it, that wanted this thing, have already bought it, it's sold out, it's over, it's end of discussion. And of all things in audio, I think it's so funny to see a universal collective hatred toward this product when it is not advertising anything else. It is telling you, I am a $1,500 light box. I am not pretending to improve the sound of your system. I am not pretending to be anything else besides a $1,500 light. There is absolutely no snake oil, absolutely no BS sales talk. It is exactly the product that they are calling it out to be and displaying it as. There is no voodoo, magic, snake oil, weird sales tactic that is going to this product. If you buy this product, you are getting exactly what you want, what you have seen, which is a $1,500 light that says Macintosh on the front. All right, that's the end of my rant. What do you think about the LB200? Has this changed your mind in Macintosh? Are you having some sort of other opinion besides me? Because I just don't understand all the outrage. I think it's ridiculous. Maybe it's ridiculous for Macintosh to release such a product at such a high price, but it's also ridiculous for this wide, crazy online pitchfork witch hunt, or I guess not witch hunt, but pitchfork angry mob mentality against Macintosh for releasing this product. Let me know your comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps me out. Check the other links below in the description to help support the channel, including visiting my Patreon where you can donate to me for whatever amount you want. And there may be some bonus content. I haven't decided what's going to be there, but we're working on it every day. And thank you again for watching. See you in the next one.